Hello, I'm Chris Fulton. I'm going to walk you through the process of setting up an attendance question in Moodle. And this is an attendance question that the students can then respond to on their mobile phones. And a record will appear in Moodle. It takes a bit of work to set up, so I'll walk you through it in this video. What students do? Students go to your UM Moodle course and they'll find the attendance question for the course and then they'll have to click on that and answer the question. And in this question, you know, they're asked to enter a short response and then click submit. Students can also uh, see their attendance record on a block on the course page. This is usually on the uh, right hand side. What a professor or a teaching assistant does? Well, first an instructor or a teaching assistant needs to set up a questionnaire question for the students in a Moodle course site. And it's very important to create one questionnaire activity, set the settings, and then that questionnaire will be duplicated for each week or each class. And then, second, a progress bar block will be set up to track attendance and a teacher can look at the progress bar and get an overview of all the students in their class. And of course, uh, once it's all set up, there's really not much more for a professor to do other than remind students to take the attendance question. What a professor or teaching assistant can see and discuss? Well, instead of just creating a simple question like, are you present? I think it's much more useful to create a question that will give students or teachers valuable feedback on the learning that's happening in the course. The first thing an instructor has to do is set up one questionnaire. Later, you'll duplicate this questionnaire for each session. So log into Moodle, as you usually do, Turn on editing for the Moodle course that you want to take attendance in. Click create an activity or resource. Select questionnaire. Give it the name attendance. Um, and now it's very important to edit the settings for the questionnaire. So we're going to turn on the timing. And we're also going to set the response options. And finally, uh, I think it's good to give it a mark. The mark may not be worth anything in the final uh, scheme of things, but this will help create a record in the gradebook. There are a few more settings to adjust. Um, I'm going to set the restrict access from, this is the time that the class begins until the time the class ends. You can use other uh, times Maybe you want the attendance question to be done in the first 15 minutes of the class. It's up to you. And um, also, I want to turn on activity completion in the administrative settings and just uh, show the activity as complete when the following conditions are met. Student must complete the questionnaire. So not just view it, but also complete it. And we can set the date that it's should be completed on. This is the date of the course, um, the date of the particular class. And click Save and Display. Now, in step one, you created a questionnaire activity. The next step is to create a question for the students to answer in that questionnaire. So click on the questionnaire and on the side, you might see uh, an administration block. You can click on questions to, to find the questions or to add questions. Okay. And uh, we're going to add maybe a, a true or false question or a yes or no question. Uh, sorry, a multiple choice question. And I, I like the, the radio buttons and then I click add selected question type. And then I'm some settings appear. Um, I can give it a name and definitely we want a response. 
vertical buttons look very good on a mobile phone. Then I write down the question. And each answer should be on a new line. And click Save. Now, I've created some questions. The students can click here to answer the questions. But maybe I want to revise some of the questions. So I move over to the Administration tab. Edit Settings is where I uh, can change the visibility when it is available to students. But I want to come down to Questions. Here I can see the questions that I've created, and I can also edit the questions. Now, under the tab Questions, I can add a new question. I have several choices. I might add a, a text box or a radio button. And this allows me to add a question. If I want to edit the question that currently exists, I can click on that little gear icon. And now I can edit the question. So I can change the, the question stem, or I can change some of the answers and save any changes. So hopefully that gives you a better idea of how you can update the questions that you've created for each new attendance question. Now, after creating one general attendance question, I can duplicate that question. But after duplicating it, I should review the settings and check the dates so that the attendance question appears only on the date that I want it to appear. So one way to do that is click on Edit and then Edit Settings. Um, so this question I wanted to do on uh, October 2nd. So it, it's quite useful to enter the date there. That will appear later on the report. And this is the date that the students can see the activity. Again, you may want to um, give them a little more time. You may want to leave the attendance uh, question open for the whole class. And the restrict access is very similar. Just what date and what time do you want the students to answer that? I, I like to turn this on because then some more information appears on the uh, Moodle website, just reminding students to do the question at that time. And finally, just change the activity completion settings. This helps Moodle keep track of uh, when things are due, and sometimes it will uh, send a reminder or or give students a reminder about something that they've missed. Step four, I like to create a progress bar. This is an extra step, but it allows students to see their attendance record. And it also allows the teacher to quickly check the attendance of the whole class and um, see who's not in class and even send them a message if they're not in class or they haven't completed the attendance question. So on the right hand side in Moodle you'll you'll turn uh, well you'll turn editing on and then at the bottom you might see something that says add a block. You want to add a progress bar. Okay. Click that. After you add the progress bar you'll need to set it up and select which activities you want to be included in the progress bar. And we want all of the attendance questions to be included. So um, there's a few settings that I might change. You know, I might change it to your attendance because that's what students will see or something like that. And I also like to uh, just change that to squeeze. It'll then squeeze all the, whatever, 28 uh, attendance sessions onto a bar. Um, and then for each day that I have an attendance question, each class, I have to change this to yes. 
So for the first class, I want that to read yes. And just review the expected date. So it must be done on the day of the class at a particular time. And again, for my second class, I want it to be included in the progress bar. And I just have to go through and check that the date, the due date is accurate. So I have to do this for every single uh, questionnaire that I've created. And it's a little bit troublesome, but once you've done that, uh, you don't have to do it again. Don't, for, click, don't forget to click Save Changes.